Hello everybody. Beautiful day here in Southern California. Like I say I'm gonna have to get up here and clean these panels. Let's talk about some batteries first. Have the air conditioners running. Wanted to talk about batteries today. And there's a lot of misleading things and maybe this video will just clear it up and make some stuff easier for people. So if you're building your own battery or if you're buying your own battery brand new that's already pre-built. I kind of want to give you my idea on batter technology, especially something that I built and spent so much money on, and also what actually works. The setup I have here, it's been running my house almost two years now and charging my car. It runs great. And now the house is running about 40 amps, 28.6 volts. The sun's running the house, it's floating. It's great to have, you know, power the house on a sunny day. I get every sunny day to power the house for free in California. I get to charge the cars. It's really nice. My build here runs 30 days a month. I usually take one day off to maintain it and equalize the batteries out during the summer months. And the in the spring, I get about 25 days a month on where I'm off grid completely. During the winter months, we're looking anywhere between 15 and 20 days completely off grid, where I can charge the vehicles, completely use everything for the house, heat, everything. My build consists of 280 amp hour Eve LifePo 4 cells. The reason I went with this is the amount of capacity I have. I have 56 cells, which is set up in 24 volt. The reason I didn't go 48 volt is because I see lots and lots of failures with the BMS. A Batrium BMS. Built my own power station, power center. Your Lion chemistry is honestly, it's great for the short term. This is my opinion on two chemistries that I've tested rigorously. I've tested LifePo 4 and I've tested Lion. The Lion batteries charge so fast and up to 80%. As soon as you hit 80%, it, it, it charges slow. They don't last as long. These do-it-yourself cells, or even brand new ones where they're all the same cell, good. It doesn't matter what. It doesn't matter what brand you buy, even. But what it does matter is you're not going to get ten years out of these. If you're going to power house, you're going to get five years out of these. You need a lot of them to power house. But I love one good thing about them: the, the way they charge from the sun, especially. The, to get you through the, the night and to wait for the sun to come up, it absorbs all the sun. Lion is definitely, it, it charges so fast, but does it, it doesn't last as long. Where these LifePo 4 cells two years later are still charging my house. They charge so slow though. They really do. Even at 100 amps, that's, I, I got to set it at 90 amps off, off a 100 amp charger because I don't like taking my solar controller to the max. But I have the cooling system always keeps everything cool. And But what I figured is I need double the solar, which I need 200 amps just to power a house. A basic three bedroom house where you're using air conditioner or you're using electric heaters or you want to charge a car. You need at least 200 amps daily to run a house. Is solar a gimmick? No, it, it actually works and it saves a lot of money. To be completely off grid, you're going to need at least 200 amps of solar. That's a lot of power and a lot of solar on top of the house. I don't want people to waste money on batteries that are not worth it. You inevitably want two things. You want it to work 
and you want it to be reliable. And this is reliable. Would I change anything about this? No. Would I update anything about it? Not till it at least breaks. This build powers my house roughly 240 days a year. If I had more solar, I'd be completely 365 days a year. That's something I have to think about investing in. I'm thinking about putting in a complete solar roof when I purchase my new house. And I wouldn't replace anything in the current system that I have because it works. Everything else that I see on a bigger scale like this fails. Brand new Lion cells only last five years with harsh punishment from powering a complete house or even a vehicle or a car or even an e-bike. I've tried them all from because I wanted to see failure here. You have Sony's and you have Samsung cells and everything's brand new. All same milliamp and I, I built battery packs for five years now. Again, it comes all down to the same thing. They all, the, the energy density at the end, after five years, is almost nothing. And when I look at what I still have left after two years of testing with the LifePo 4, it, it just outperforms. This is where you want to invest your money into. Um, especially don't buy, if you're going to have something stationary, like a, a solar system or solar battery, as I call this, you're going to want to go LifePo 4. And the power wall is great, and I, I believe in Tesla products. And I, I even have a Tesla because I feel like Tesla batteries last to 10 years, just like this. I've had almost every electric vehicle you can possibly have, and I talk so much crap about Tesla. But I have to say, they're the only Lion cell that actually lasts. You wonder why other car manufacturers, they don't work that great? It's because they're lying on cells. They're horrible. And, and they don't last. That's why they're having problems. I can't build a whole 18650 Tesla power wall here with original Tesla 18650 cells because they don't sell them. I would have to only get U cells. And my opinion on new cells is this. They're not going to be able to power your house for a long period of time. And again, to invest this much money into something and time, especially building it, and battery packs where you're, you, you don't want to waste your time. Because the lightweight and how fast it charges or your portable anything, the 18650 or Lion cell is a, a great thing. Something stationary, you're going to want to use Life Pole for it, definitely. Just because the, the life expectancy you get out of it and the amount of energy density that it has, it's, it's great. Only down factor, again, is the way it charges. And I wish, I wish all these YouTube videos and people would just tell the truth. Don't waste your time building this stuff. It doesn't last that long. Buy something that actually, even if it's a quarter of this size, Build it yourself. If it comes to LifePo 4, be very careful what you buy online because it's so much cheaper just to do it yourself. It's not that hard. And with the way they're saying it is so hard, and the amount of money that they want to charge for these batteries is insane. When you can just buy the batteries, assemble it all yourself, and power your house for free. It costs some money to build it, but for 400 days plus now, I powered my house for free out of two years. Don't get me wrong, lightweight, these things are still cool. But if you're going to build a power wall with 18650s, you're going to need Tesla batteries. And I have a ton of them. I have so many Tesla batteries, but they're all used. My opinion is never to build with used cells. It's not a good idea. You always want to build with the same manufacturer. 
and you always want to build with the same cell. If not, it, it, it leads to the pack failure. Again, we're here to make sure that what works. And what I find that works is using the same cell and same manufacturer. The solar system I have now is 100 amps. It's great for now. When I purchase my new house, I'll have a complete solar roof put on the house. This build here, when I move into my new house, will be just to charge my electric vehicles only. And my second build, with everything that I know now, I would keep it almost 80% where I'm at right now. Just because I know it works and it's reliable. Would I change a few things? Yeah, maybe just some updates on an inverter and maybe some updates on a solar controller. But everything else, it works. Be careful what you watch on the internet because on YouTube and TikTok and even X and many other places, you have a lot of people trying to sell you something. I did this for fun. I, 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 I work on electric cars and they taught me how to be an EV technician. I wanted to see if I was being lied to. And yes, I, I was. The books say all these other things. Life Pro 4 is just, it, it performs better. And realistic, when somebody talks like a, a human being instead of a book or a computer or Google or whatever, this works. Don't buy something that doesn't work. Cooling system just kicked in. Time to get up there and clean all these panels off. I have some pretty cool builds coming in the future. I really appreciate everybody watching my content. The knowledge I have about batteries and EVs and hybrids is pretty, pretty extensive. If you have any questions, shoot me a message. Thanks for watching. If you like my videos, please like and subscribe.